I usually fly from Little Gransden Airfield, which is about a half hour drive away. Um, but flying buddy Matt, he's got permission for us to fly from a local farm. So what I'm going to do today is uh, fly from the local farm, which is in Millbrook, over to Little Gransden and then have a land, have a chat and then, then fly back. As I was setting up for this flight, I couldn't find my GoPro 7 anywhere, so um, it turns out it had uh, actually dropped out the side of the van and rolled underneath the van, and uh, I didn't find it at the time. So I'm using my GoPro 4 session here, so it's a bit, it's a bit janky, so apologies for that. So again, the winds are quite strong today. I mean, the, the whole of April in the UK, uh, where I live, the winds have consistently come from the north and the east and the northeast. So they've been quite strong, quite cold. So it's been a, a very cool month. Um, so I'm just waiting for Matt now. Here he goes. And a nice reverse launch. So we did a reverse. So the, I think the wind speed was about seven, eight miles an hour. So Matt's having another go. Quite tricky. So Matt's this is the first flight of Matt's new engine. So um, off he goes. So we're both up in the air. So it's quite slow progress, um, and uh, when I look round, I, I want to get to this lake here. This is at the south side of Bedford. And when I look round, uh, Matt's quite a long way behind me in the distance, and it looks like he's actually flying the opposite direction. So it looks to me that uh, Matt's decided to turn back. Um, I'm, however, going to press on. Um, it is quite bumpy. It's quite thermic. I mean, April and May in the UK is very, very bumpy. So I'm trimming out now. Now, now that I know that Matt's not with me got my full trims out so I can get full speed into the wind so quite a strong wind um, this is great Barford and uh, off my, on my way to Little Grandstone so here's Little Grandstone I'm pulling my trimmers in for landing um, it did take me about 45 minutes to fly from Millbrook to Little Gransden into wind and used about 7 litres of fuel. I mean I was up in the air for about an hour um, just flying around for 15 minutes before I actually departed so um, a big fuel consumption with, that, with those trimmers fully out. So after landing, I look at my fuel tank and I think I've got five litres of fuel left and it took me seven to get there, even though we have a tailwind. So Steve uh, offers to give me two or three litres extra to, to make sure I've got enough to get back. So, uh, thanks a lot, Steve. Uh, so I kind of hang around for 20 minutes, chat to the guys and um, then take off again. So uh, here we are on our way back to Motherbrook from Little Cranston. I quite enjoy uh, these landing out. Um, flights where you feel you're actually going somewhere and doing something. Probably about 99% of my flights are take off and land from the same place. So here we are on the way back. Um, and the, the battery on the GoPro 4, uh, because I haven't got the external power pack, um, it actually gives up at this point. So when I land, um, I check my fuel and uh, I've got five litres left. So it only took three litres of fuel on the way back because I left my trimmers fully in and um, it took me seven litres on the way there, so uh, I find that quite interesting. Hope you enjoyed. <laughs>